What up, YouTube? Team Moose here. Since this whole month, I'm going to be doing my reviews of films that got released in January. I just did my review for the first Paddington. Now, here's my review for Paddington 2, which, of course, also got released in January. Now, granted, in uh, the UK, Paddington 1 and 2 most likely got um, released in, like, another month. But I'm talking... But in the U.S., uh, when I um, when I saw Paddington one enter theirs, it was uh, in January. So there's that. Anyway, now Paddington two, of course, uh, direct, once again directed by uh, Paul King. Uh, you've got Ben Whishaw returning as the role of uh, Paddington. I mean, when they announced Paddington two, I'm like, oh, okay, maybe would it be as good as the first film? Was the first film just a fluke? Would it even be good at all? And so I went ahead and checked out Pack 2 when it got released in theaters. Uh, to be honest, Pack 2, I might prefer over the first film. I know Pack 2 was as good as the first film. You know, of course, like I said, this is once again based on a book. Uh, you got David Heyman uh, back as the uh, producer. You know, this time around, you got Paddington, who is now selling in with the Brown family. Uh, of course, the, uh, the uh, parents um, of the Brown family are uh, uh, Hugh Bonneville from Death and Abbey fame. And uh, Sally Hawkins, which I remember when I first saw this um, film. And there's, it was literally a month after I saw Sally Hawkins uh, get get on with a fish in uh, Shape of War. Yeah, bit odd uh, turnaround right there. I mean, it's a bit awkward to even watch Sal Hawkins and anything else after seeing her in Shape of Water, to be honest. Especially a family film like, uh, Paddington. I mean, talk about switch around right there. But I always adore Sal Hawkins. She, she's a great actress right there. But anyway, so, this time around, you got the Paddington, uh, Paddington the Bear, who is now selling in with the family. And, you know, he is pretty much the uh, popular member of the community who spreads uh, joy, and he also uh, spreads marmalade, you know, wherever uh, he goes. I mean, he's, you know, I guess to say marmalade to him is like, well, honey is to poo, for, um, is to win the poo, you know? And speaking of, 2018 was an interesting year for uh, Talking Bears, by the way. Because that year we had Paddington. Then a couple years after, uh, in, I believe, August, we had uh, the Winning the Pooh movie, Christopher Robin. So, interesting, um, a bit of an interesting month for, uh, like, an interesting year for Talking Bears. Anyway, so here, of course, uh, Paddington ends up going, uh, you know, one one day he ends up uh, spotting a, uh, he ends up spotting up a uh, pop-up book in this uh, antique uh, shop, and... He thinks it's, it's the perfect present for his beloved aunt's 100th birthday. But when the thief uh, steals the uh, prize book, Paddington embarks on an epic quest to uh, unmask and, um, and get the uh, book. And he also ends up finding his way uh, going in prison. Where he also uh, pretty much be friends with this, uh, you know, with this, uh, you know, pri I guess you say prison chef, uh, who is played by Brandon Gleason. And... You know, he is, of course, trying to get out and all. But, of course, the villain who, you know, took the book is none other than, uh, is portrayed by Hugh Grant. Who, by the way, Hugh Grant actually got nominated, actually got nominated for a Bath Award for his performance. Hugh Grant was really good in, uh, Patting the Show. I mean, I was surprised at how great he was. And, you know what's funny about, uh, Hugh Grant playing the villain of this and Nicole Kimmon playing the villain in, uh, the first Paddington? They were both on that recent show, The Undoing. So I kind of find that a little funny that uh, two of the Paddington uh, villains ended up playing a couple on um, a TV show. I kind of was, I kind of thought that was pretty funny to watch. But yeah, Hugh Grant was really terrific in this. Uh, Brandon Gleason, I, I mean, I've seen Brandon Gleason do comedy here and there, but I thought Gleason was great. I've always loved Gleason. I mean. How great was he at playing Donald Trump, by the way? I know he did a good job there. Uh, you also had some other uh, folks in this. Like, you had Jim Broadbent was in this. Uh, Julie Waters. You had lots of Harry Potter actors in this. It is produced by the same guy who gave us Harry Potter, so... That makes sense. Uh, of course, you have uh, Michael Gammon, you know, a.k.a. Uh, Dumbledore from the Harry Potter films. 
I mean, it was really wonderful. Great production design. Uh, you know, Paddington, Ben Wishaw, once again, voicing Paddington is great casting. I mean, I think he plays that character really perfectly. And like I said, I think Paddington 2 is even better than the first film. Sad to say, Paddington 2 did not do so well when it got released. It only made about 38.4 million. A bit of step down from the first Paddington. Now, I'm wondering if we'll ever actually get a, um, a third one. There have been talks about a possible third Paddington film, but we'll see if that comes if that ever comes out. But, man, I would love to see a third Paddington because the first two films are remarkable. They're terrific. So, yeah, if you guys haven't really seen Paddington 1 or even 2 for that matter, definitely give them a go. Anyway, let me leave you guys. Have you ever seen Paddington uh, 2 or even Paddington 1? Uh, which one do you even prefer? Do you prefer Paddington 1 or Paddington 2? Uh, would you even be down to see a third Paddington? Uh, drop a comment below. Don't forget to like, subscribe, hit that bell for more notifications. This is Simu, sign off.